Get saved. <laughs> Amen. And then you got to take the next step is you got to make the decision that I am to be no more. <laughs> and that's another decision that you have to make. It's great to get saved and all the feelings it is with salvation. Great experience, eh? I mean, you feel the, the all the it feels like you can feel all the love of God, you know, in you, through you, around you. You know, it's it's marvelous. But you come to that point, and you have to make that other decision. That decision is is that I am to be no more. I'm, I have to make that decision, and so you make that decision, and now you're in a place that God can work. Amen. That you start pleasing Him, that He can start working in your life. But you got to hear His voice. You got to give it, you know, give that opportunity to hear, to incline. What does it say? Incline your ear unto the Lord, Amen. And listen for it. That it, it, sometimes that's an active thing that you have to do it, in your mind to get your mind quiet, Amen, and to go on. But anyway. <clears throat> So Enoch walked with God and he was not. How many want Enoch's experience today? Amen. Oh, that's getting in my prayer closet and praying 24-7 and never coming out. I'll be like Enoch. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should pray. <laughs> but that's not what Enoch was. Enoch allowed God to change his life. And Enoch allowed God through the, his relationship with him to change Enoch. Amen. So that when he did come out of his prayer closet, that God had free reign in his life, amen. And through the circumstances and through every opportunity, he chose to properly prioritize, <laughs> amen. He put had his priorities right, and it was God first. And God, that was it, God first, amen. And he made that choice, and then he had the testimony that he was not, and then he had the testimony that he pleased God. And then he was translated. And then he was completely with God. And God loved his relationship. He pleased God so much that God wanted him even closer. Isn't that true? God wanted him even closer. Wow. <laughs> what a testimony. But you know what? Each and every one of us have that opportunity today. Each and every one of us have that. Where, regardless of where you're at, you're just getting started. If you haven't become a Christian yet, you can get saved and get it, get the relationship started. Amen. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Whatever you are, whatever your your point is, do you need to make? Do you need to, to commit? that all your ambitions to Christ all your hopes and your ambitions for this life amen all the things that you want to do in this life commit it all to him it's wonderful he changes it then you give it to him he changes it and now what you want to do all your ambitions are for him to want to live amen through you once again amen and it's a good life Look at it. He had a tremendous testimony he had. You know, I'm sure you know that Enoch was just like all of us, that he had opportunities in his life every day where he had to choose to please God rather than himself. He's no different. But he had the right priorities. He got there, didn't he? He arrived. Well, he's translated. <laughs> but... That's it. That's what it is. It's all about pleasing God every day, every moment of the day. And when your heart is in the right place, that's not a hard thing to do. When your priorities are in the right place, what? What's your priority? Number one, seek God to please Him. That's number one in my life. Not a hard thing to do. Make the commitment. Make the commitment today. That God, I don't want to be anymore. I'm committing myself to being no more. And then when he begins to work, <laughs> hang on to your commitment. <laughs> hang on to your commitment and realize that everything he is doing is for your good. 
No matter what circumstance pops up in the day, no matter what situation, incline your ear to the Lord, to Jesus. Listen to what he has to say. Follow the, the leading of the Spirit, the truths of the Word of God, but listen to that, his voice. Yes. And you will please him. And you will be no more. You will be no more, you'll please him, and you'll be translated. Amen.